after glycolysis produces the two pyruvate molecules uh, in aerobic respiration, which is the more common of the two types used, they'll diffuse into the mitochondria. So when we take a look at what's going on here, you have these the two pyruvates from produced from one glucose molecule. They diffuse through the outer membrane, through the inner membrane, and they'll end up in the inner matrix. That's where the chemical reactions take place that will turn these two pyruvates into two carbon molecules. So that's the detail that we're going to talk about. I'm going to remove the um, mitochondrial membranes just so it doesn't look visually cluttering. So this is, this is the net reaction that we're talking about, but there's a lot of important stuff that goes on along the way. Okay, first of all, when this breakdown of the pyruvates occurs to produce these uh, the two carbon um, uh, part of the compound, what happens to that third carbon? Well, in each of the two molecules, it gets released as a carbon dioxide. And in the process, there's kind of a, a, a handoff where coenzyme A, that's obviously a coenzyme, it joins with each of these two carbon acetyl groups to produce acetyl-CoA. That's why we call it acetyl-CoA production. This process doesn't really require or make any ATP. There's no ATP involved at all. But it does function to produce two high energy NADH molecules by uh, reducing the NAD plus ions. So these guys, if you remember from glycolysis, when they are produced, they're going to have a really important use coming up later on in aerobic respiration. Okay, so let's go ahead and summarize acetyl-CoA production. First, it happens in the inner matrix. Remember when the pyruvate diffuse into the inner matrix, that's when the chemical reactions occur. No ATP is involved, but two NADHs are generated and two CO2s are released. So we still have a couple of carbon bonds that can be uh, broken down and released, uh, release energy to be used to release energy. The energy that was released from the further breakdown that we just observed went into these NADH uh, bonds here, okay? So keep in mind, these are high energy. They are they have harnessed the energy from the broken down carbon to carbon bonds in those pyruvates. 